Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So an appeals court ruling could have really far reaching consequences for a lot of the January 6 convicts and cases. Um, in a two to one decision, a DC federal appeals court ruled that January 6 convict James Little cannot be sentenced to both prison and probation. So this is what's known as a split sentence. I've talked about this before, but it's been a while since it came up. If you've been watching the show for a while, you might remember this. Um, this came up early in the sentencing hearings. There were one or two judges who believed that this was improper in cases of low-level offenders, um, people who were convicted of one or pleaded to one single misdemeanor. So these judges said, it's either or. We, you know, we can't do both. I can't sentence this person to prison and also probation. I have to choose one or the other. Well, this appeals court has agreed with them. They've said that the sentence is, again, either or, but it can't be both. And now the appeals court um, has upended the sentence of this J James Little man, but also potentially numerous other January 6 convicts. Um, in their ruling, the two judges wrote, quote, Probation and imprisonment are alternative sentences that cannot generally be combined. And quote, probation and imprisonment may not be imposed as a single sentence. They are separate options on the menu. So this James Little, his sentence now has been thrown out. He will have to be resentenced, although he already served his time. Um, many other people have already served their time. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, this is going to impact all of the cases going forward unless they can get this overturned. But the judge who disagreed is Circuit Court Judge Robert Wilkins. He cited a 1994 Sentencing Reform Act to make his case in favor of a split sentence. He believes that they are perfectly lawful. He says that Congress passed this act for this explicit purpose. And in his dissenting opinion, Wilkins wrote, quote, if petty offenders need a short prison sentence to punish them, to reflect the seriousness of the offense, and to deter them from future criminal conduct, they need it, regardless of whether they committed one petty offense or two. If petty offenders need rehabilitation following imprisonment, they need it, regardless of whether they committed one petty offense or two. Um, if this majority opinion is allowed to stand, as I said, it, it is really going to affect a lot of cases. It really ties judges' hands behind their backs. Um, many have been reluctant to issue lengthy prison terms for a single misdemeanor charge, understandably. But, you know, they want to be able to keep an eye on these people through the 2024 election. So this ruling could really change everything. And I'm not sure that January 6 defendants understand what this means. They're probably going to see this as a win. And, you know, they think that they're all going to get probation from now on. But it could really backfire on them because as I see it, um, you could see a scenario in which prosecutors are going to now start requesting much longer prison terms for something as simple as parading, uh, you know, or we could see prosecutors refusing to accept a plea deal for a single misdemeanor. They might require that these people now plead to two misdemeanors. You know, they, they may even start to increase charges for January 6 defendants to start off with. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing an increase in the number of people who are charged with the lower level felonies, things like civil disorder um, or some other felony. So this is going to get interesting. I will definitely keep an eye on this. I will let you all know what I hear uh, going forward. I would expect that the Justice Department is going to appeal this even further, take it to the next level, but we'll see. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Really, really trying to get to that 50,000 by this Friday. I know it's like a 
like a monumental task at this point. <laughs> and it would take a close to a miracle, but I think you guys can pull it off. So hit that subscribe button, tell all your friends and family about the show, tell them to subscribe. So, so appreciate it. If you can donate, links are down below in the description box on YouTube and the podcast. Love you all. Take care and I'll talk with you soon.